good morning. Um, I woke up bright and early with blackberry jam on the mind. So, um, this is, these are blackberries that I had frozen and I defrosted. And this is uh, blackberries I picked a couple of days ago and I picked these yesterday. <coughs> And I got a lot gathered all my supplies. I got my um pint sized jars. I got my um uh, let me show you over here. I got my lids. My what is it? Caps and lids, caps and lids. This is the regular stuff. Um I'm trying to and um, of course I'm using this. This is Recycled, and I'm kind of breaking the rules by reusing this, but I'll use that for um, the ones that I use that I, that I eat first. <coughs> Excuse me. And I also wanted to show you uh, these these fancy Tatler lids and rings. These are um, it's like a plastic plastic lid, and then you have a rubber ring. And it kind of takes the place of the conventional lid with the, the BPA in it. This bisphenol A, which is, has been found to be carcinogenic and does all kinds of awful things. So um, I'm going to set this to boil so that I can um, sterilize. And I wanted to also show you, I'm going to get the, the lid for that hot in a minute. <laughs> I also wanted to show you my fancy uh, thrift shop finds. This uh, what is it? Makina? Le I can't even read it. This basically says Makina Legum. And anyway, I'll, in the video you'll see the spelling. <laughs> basically it has a uh, these are interchangeable um, sifters. It also comes with these funky little legs, which I guess you can put on the pots and adjust to the size. I don't know. I haven't tried doing that yet, so you and I will see it together, I guess. So anyway, you put this in here. Stick this other, I guess the blade in there. And fasten this thing here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Got it. Really can't do that with one hand. You have to with two hands. So anyway, I I fasten these two clips I guess and um and then you just kinda you know turn the little handle around okay, so I figured out that these little legs you stick them out and then it just sits very nicely on top of the on top of the pots so I'm going to start out with uh, the frozen stuff because it's, uh, it's more juicy, it's softer. These are little cell walls that have been broken in the process of freezing and thawing. Can you see what's happening? beautiful. <laughs> I used to have a, f a couple of food melons before but they were they were very old and hard to use and it didn't really do a lot of um what do you call it? Didn't do a good job. Well first of all the blades were not interchangeable so um I guess that made a difference. So a lot of the seeds would go through or just didn't really seem to be hitting the, the blade wasn't hitting the, the grater 
by the grinder part, so <laughs> this is like very easy to use. I will definitely be using this again. There's a few, um, what do you call it? Unripe berries in there, which I'm not worried about because I'm making jam. It's going to be super sweet and maybe not super sweet. There's going to be sugar in there, so I'm not going to worry about a few, a few ones, a few unripe berries and a few stems. The stems will come out in the uh. With the seeds, basically. Alright, so, I'm gonna work on this a little longer. is going to come out of that that uh, blackberry meat. Well, I mean, it could be more out of there, but um, I'd like to take this pulp and uh, make, you know, like a beverage. I take, take the these drags and I stick it in a pitcher and stir it up and strain it again and then I sweeten the sugar or honey. So, um, anyway, I'm just going to put this to the side. <clears throat> so this is what I got. This is what came out of two weeks worth of two or one, three weeks worth of blackberry picking and oops and it's not a lot so I'm gonna toss in this chunk of peaches that I collected last year <coughs> this is last summer's peaches and they're all clumped up together I was gonna try and um, break them apart and maybe stick them in a the food processor but that's fine I'll just stick them in there and let them thaw in the in the mixture okay so that the uh, peaches have defrosted and the, but there's still there's still pretty hole in there um, so I'm just gonna run the uh, hand blender to kind of grind them up a little bit. sugar so all I had was barely a cup so I divided the, the cup into, into two half cups and um, I'm going to put three teaspoons of this Pomona's pectin <coughs> I'm sorry about my voice today two, three, I'm sorry. three teaspoons of the Pomona's pectin 
because I have about six cups of juice, juice, jam, pulp, whatever you call it, in there. And then you're supposed to put in um, two teaspoons of this calcium water. It comes with um, a little packet of calcium. You put, you know, the calcium that's in here, you take half a teaspoon of this calcium and put put it into half a cup of water and you dissolve that just stir it to make sure it's dissolved and then you take out of this you take two teaspoons of uh, the calcium water I'm going to put three teaspoons just to make sure and it turns out that um, those uh, sour blackberries are good for the mixture because something about the, the, the acid actually helps the pectin to solidify. So, we're supposed to put in about... Um, Half of a quarter quarter cup of lime juice. The instructions on the package are for four cups, but I think I had about six cups more or less between the blackberry and the peach. And so um, between the sourness of the blackberries, the immature blackberries and um, you know what I have, what I just put in at the lime juice, I think that should be enough acid. So I'm stirring that in. Um, like I said, I ran out of sugar, so I'm using I'm using honey and sugar. Well, first I'm gonna put in the sugar because it takes a little longer to dissolve. Put that in. Stir it in a little bit. <coughs> That's honey from my garden, from my my own beehive. Um, I had bees two years ago, three years ago, 2013. This is from 2014. 2014, my bees um, had a very rough winter, and they did not make it through to the winter spring. So I harvested. The honey that they would have had for the winter because none of it was used so that's what that was that nice dark honey um, anyway you're supposed to um, you're supposed to let put the sugar in let it come to a boil and then then and then it's done but I really like to allow my jam to have some time to, th to properly thicken. It's almost there actually, but I just want to make sure that the peaches cook properly and the jam, you know, becomes nice and thick before I put the, um, the pectin sugar. I don't know, I might do that anyway, but I prefer to let the jam cook properly. I just don't like, I don't like it to be, um, well, I want it to be naturally, naturally thickened. You know, the pectin is mostly to solidify, solidify the jam, make sure that it's nicely gelled, but, um, I want it to be thickened on its own.